Hello there. Here's a sort of different solution to the problem Todd is having with the uh, assist flow. Um, my take on it is that you're trying to use all of the muscles in your body to cock this string. Uh, and the push of the sliding mechanism is going to help with the uh, draw of the, of the string. So I've kept that principle the same, but I've also added in uh, a pulley mechanism and done away with the assist bow. Um, I mean, I can see the cam mechanism working in the end, um, but in terms of complexity, I think I have uh, possibly a slightly uh, simpler solution. So I'll just talk you through what these pictures show. Um, ignore for now this half bow here. Um, what we've got here is exactly the same principle. You're going to be using a sliding mechanism inside the the, uh, the frame to assist you with the draw. But instead of using an assist bow, we're going to use pulley mechanisms. Um, and the idea is that there's two different pulley mechanisms. There's one on top and one on the side. The one on top is going to be used to cock the string to the, to the two thirds part. And this is the sort of easy part of the draw uh, and it's going to be done by pushing the slider along. So the second picture here shows the slider being pushed halfway and as you can see the, the, the string is slowly being cocked and then finally you've got it to the third uh, two-thirds mark here using a pulley system. And I'll, I'll, I'll show a picture showing exactly how these pulley, sh pulley systems work in more detail in a second. Um, when it gets to that two thirds point, you're going to use the pull of the slider mechanism to, find, to, to drill the string back to the two thirds mark, uh, sorry, to the, to the full cocked position. Um, so remember, we've got two thirds on the push and a third on the pull and here is a picture showing exactly how these mechanisms work so I'll just bring that into the picture so we've got here a mechanism showing the bow cocked at the sort of halfway uh, and it sort of shows all the, the different parts well at, at this position. So on the first part you're pushing. So here we've got the end of the push, uh, the, the end of the slider pulling a string which runs up all the way to a cam which pulls, uh, to a pulley which pulls the string. And this string is attached to the trigger. I'm going to call it the trigger box. It's a lot like the sort of modern day crossbows you see now that have the trigger mechanism all contained in a slider. Um, definitely conceivable in medieval times. I'm sure a lot of uh, ballistas had that kind of um, principle where the, the trigger mechanism is the thing that pulls back the string. The string isn't drawn to the trigger mechanism. Um, so this this uh, trigger box is on uh, is inside a groove and it's being pulled by the first pulley on the push. When it gets to the two-thirds mark as we saw in the, the previous photos the second pulley mechanism takes over and this second pulley mechanism is going to pull the string to the final point. And as you can see inside here, this groove here shows where the slider mechanism is operating. Um, this is going to pull the final part of the drill. So once the trigger box gets to this point here, the, the two thirds mark, this attaches to here and draws the string back to the final position. 
I'll just run you through quickly what the half bow does. All the half bow does is reset the first pulley mechanism because that needs to be reset uh, for the next shot. Um, in terms of complexity, uh, I agree that this is complex, but compared to the uh, cam system and the possible sort of compound style uh, assist bow, um, I think it's on slightly more complex and uh, the the parts maybe this one has a few more mechanical parts but not that many more um, but I do think it's more in keeping with the medieval mind because uh, the cams that Todd was using in his assist bow I can see why he thought that they could have conceived with that with the uh, the giant uh, cocking mechanism you saw that they might have had on the ramparts um i can see that, that why they would have used cams possibly but uh pulley mechanisms were to me a much more uh common knowledge kind of uh technology and yeah so this is all based on pulley mechanisms that that definitely were known about this assist bow here uh is something that I've seen this sorry this uh, reset bow half bow is something I've seen on some of Leonardo da Vinci's designs it's uh, I've never seen it being used to sort of reset a bow but the principle of a half bow is definitely uh, something he used it um, anyway I hope you like my idea and uh, tell me what you think